everybody. Welcome to my stream. I am Sturmby as always, and with me is the inimitable Susan Stewart. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you doing, Susan? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Happy to finally be, hopefully, putting this game to bed. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> That's how I'm doing. I'm yes, very excited. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a decent game, okay? It is kind of on the downward trend. I guess that would be this direction. <laughs> downward trend of uh, missed games in terms of quality, you know. I think they peaked with Ribbon, maybe Exile. Yeah. But this is started to go downhill. No offense intended. They're still good games by any stretch. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, there's some things I think they could have done. Some puzzles they could have reworked. Things like that. The acting's not bad. I have yeah, I didn't, that too. I didn't feel like the puzzles were great. Mm hmm. Are great. I mean. The music's fine. Great too, as well. Again, I think that peaked yeah. and uh, missed uh, three or even ribbon, but, you know. Uh, okay, and of course, the fact that we're having so many mouse problems with this one, and that does cause problems with two of the yeah, puzzles. Yeah, that in didn't the help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't help, but that's not the game's fault. That's emulation's fault. Um, I've already complained right, to exactly. about that, and you know, I don't think they're going to be able to do anything about it. But anyway, it's out there. Yeah, I mean, they don't really. Yeah. <laughs> they got bigger fish to fry. So... All right, well, let's go ahead and load up our game. Uh, yes, yes, okay. We're, we have fresh minds, I hope, now. So we can be fresh here. After the big reveal at the end of last episode. Which, for those That's of you right. who may have missed, right. not that anyone's really watching, but for those of you who have missed it, uh, <laughs> well, go back and watch the other one. Why not? It's on YouTube. Get um, but no, uh, seriously. Yeah. Um, uh, for those of you who have missed it, yes. Um, there was a nice big confrontation between Akinar, who walked in here, and Cirrus, who is uh, apparently in the body, or was, anyway, in the body of was, Yisha yeah. here. Um, we were able to deduce that uh, Akinar was telling the truth, and yeah, that was the case. And Yisha is trapped right now, and in fact, uh, we need a, a quote-unquote hurry to try and free her and get her back into her body. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can do here with these. I think we were directed to sit in that chair behind us and go back to Dream. I think so, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, have I missed anything? Great idea. I don't see how anything could go wrong. Camp. Um, <laughs> no, I think that about sums up where we are. Okie dokie. Is this? Oh, oh, I see there's the stone right there above us. So I guess it's mm -hmm. going to be working with that somehow. I don't know. Okay, well, um, what's with the cages? And bones in them, I think. What? No, oh, but what? it's creepy. What is this be hey, been doing here? Scratch that. Please don't answer. I don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know, actually. <clears throat> All right, well, I guess let's go ahead and get this over with. I have no idea what we're in for because I don't remember from the last time I played two decades ago. <laughs> oh, I just look up there. Okay. No sound, just... You're in. Okay. There we there go. We go. Alright. See if Peter's going to be here, too. You are a most unusual traveler, my friend. Get that a lot. 
The vision you witnessed here last time served you well. Yet still you see dream as dark and slightly dangerous. Why? It's unusual. I see the answer in your need. You are not just looking for visions this time. You seek the very memories. Oh, hi, Nauseam. Welcome back. Hey, hey, welcome back. The one you know as Yisha is still here. She's been unable to return to her waking mind because her connection with it was severed prematurely. Come, I will take you to her. Yet the strands of dream are shifting, even as we approach. I sense the connection reopening. So when we reach her, what in oh. interloper? That okay. <laughs> has no guide. He's using Yisha's memories to remain anchored in dream. Otherwise, he would be lost and quickly crushed amid dream's constantly shifting waves of possibility. Yep, we get to fight Mother Brain now. Is she not aware of him? There, do you see the anchors he's using? Uh, it'd be hard to miss. They are very powerful memories, which both Yisha and the Traveler have in common. Somehow he's jumbled them up and is using the confusion to hide himself from her. She cannot return to her waking mind while he is attached. All right, got a pair of scissors then? You can right. release her. Or a flea cone? By entering both memories and replaying them correctly, you may startle the traveler enough oh, no. so that he reveals himself. We already know who he is, we don't need. Don't I will send you into the first one now and okay. await your return. I'm not back in 30 minutes, um, just wait longer. <clears throat> Oh dear. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay. Is there anything above or below? No. Well. Okay. Um. I believe you can. Oh, there's memories here. Okay. Well, let's check them out. I'd like to, sis, but I don't have a chest set. Oh, they're just mm -hmm. single lines. Let's start at the top I'll there. I'll tell them to an island cone. You can make one, just like you made my spirit guide. Um, okay. Daddy's really good at chess. Hmm. Well, maybe mom and dad could give you a set as a present. So this is just rearranging things in the correct order. Yes. <laughs> right. And I suppose you'll tell them to make it out of the same rock as this chamber. That actually looks like it may be correct already. You should play him. Okay, that could be taken a few different ways. I could, but it's really hard to carve figurines that small. That way I'll never be able to break it. <laughs> they break so easily. Okay. Um It almost sounds like one continuous conversation that's jumbled up. Yeah, I think it I think it starts with the daddy's really good at chess. Um, was that up here? Well... Nope, over here, I think. Daddy's really good at chess. Um... And then you should play him. I'll tell him to an island cone. You can make one, just like you make... No, 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 no. Well... Maybe mom and dad... Ha! <laughs> right. You should play him. Okay, you should play him. And... Well, and then he is, says he I doesn't could, even have a set. Oh, uh... I could, but it's real. That way I'll never... 
Um, I think it's back at the chest set. Okay. Um. You can make one, just like. I'd like to, sis, but I don't have a chest set. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah. So what happens if we click on them? What does it do? It, oh. Okay, it grabs all three. I thought it was just going to grab one. Right. Um. Whoa, oh. What? Oh. Oh, I'm not even clicking. It's just automatically. Oh dear! Really? Do they have to make it this clunky? Apparently. Uh, wow. Okay. So they just made it even worse than it needed to be. But who can argue with the rules of dream, I guess? I guess. But, and they had to be these weird abstract symbols, of course. Now I've already forgotten what's what. Mmm. <clears throat> So this one is obviously, you know, that is really good at the first chess. one, which probably should be on the painting. I'll tell them to when I link home. That would be like much later in the conversation. Yeah, I think that's towards the end. So let's put this one here, I guess, and then let's put this one back for now. So eventually we'll want this one to be like uh, the the first one in the conversation. I don't know if they have to be in order or just just uh, with the associated picture, you know. I'm guessing they probably would have to be in order too. I don't know. Um, where would this one need to go? I don't know. Like, I think there should be an order, but then I don't know how, <laughs> like, where start and end is really. Yeah, you know? we have to listen. We're gonna have to listen to a lot of these over and over. Um, that's just there's no getting around that. I think. Yeah. All right. So with that being the very first part Angie's of the conversation. Angie's towards the door. What's that? Sorry, the um, the kitten was heading to towards the front door. door. Gonna make oh, a okay. grand escape. Of course. You can make one, just like you. <laughs> well. Where's the you should play him? I'll tell him to. Is that the yellow one? Ah. Jerk him I'd like to sit. That way, I'll never. I could. You should play him. Okay, so. That would be the next one for here, and then this one will go where? It's really hard. Can we put all three of the remaining ones here back on this one? I wonder. Now can I just hit it again? No, not that. Uh... Wow. Ugh. All right. Thank you so much, Nauseam. I greatly appreciate that. You take care. Thanks for stopping by. Totally understand you wouldn't want to even watch this anyway. I wouldn't want to watch this. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, they break so easily. Uh. I could, but it's really hard to carve figurines that small. Uh, can I go past it? Nope, it automatically just stops at that one. Yeah, this is not what I would call. I could, but it's really hard to carve. They break so easily. So this really would be good. the beginning. You should play him. That way I'll never. You can make one. Ha! <laughs> right. And I suppose you'll tell them to make it out of the same rock as this chain. Well, maybe mom and dad could give you a set. 
as a present. That might be the end of the conversation, and this is the one right before <laughs> it. Right. And I suppose you'll tell them to make it out of the same rock as this chamber. You can make one, just like you made my spirit guide. And I'd like to, sis, but I don't have a chest set. That comes after this uh, turquoise colored one here, the circles. I wonder... Let's see. I'd like to, sis, but I don't have a chest set. This would be better on the actual chest set image itself, but it's being, well, a pain get it over here. We have to stop at the intermediate ones. Let's see. Ah, well, let me drop them off here. Mm. So at least we can get that one over here. I could, but it's really hard. That one should be over at this. Because that's a figurine. Mm hmm. Hmm. You know, it small they break so easily. Yeah, that would come right after this. Both this red and turquoise one here should be over at this symbol, I think. Because he's talking yeah. about the carving figurines. I'll tell him to when I come. That one should be. On the book, maybe? Yeah, yeah, that should be on the book. They break so easily. That should also be on the figurine as well, I think. That'll be the third one. Yeah. The figurine. I could. They break so easily. Oh, uh, we already talked about Okay. <laughs> so that's two on the figurine. This one should be on the book. Um, where should this one be? Well, what is this? maybe Mom and Dad give you a set. That could be either on the mom and dad picture or on the set over here. I feel like they need to be kind of in order, like going from left to right. So, yeah, I think that's right. So it starts with the por the, the portrait here with um, this green really one good. and then you can you play him play sometime. Him. And I'd like to, but I don't have a chest set. Is that this one? I'd like to, sis. And um, then, well... Well, maybe Mom and Dad could... Or, wait, what was the car from? <laughs> you can make one, just like you made my spirit guide. Ha, <laughs> right. And I suppose you'll tell them to make it out of the same... Mm. Well, maybe Mom and Dad could give you a set as a present. Ha, <laughs> right. And I suppose you'll tell them to make it out of the same rock as this chamber. I'll tell them to when I link home. Uh, probably this magenta, then the green, then the yellow, and those would be all on the book or something. Um, what was this symbol? This, uh, not symbol, but the, the, the image in the background there. But... That was the broken door to lead to the Spire and um, yeah. Haven books. Where would that go in this conversation, though? I don't know. I've been trying to think about that, and I just can't. Because we're talking no about a chess set. Because I think in the order that is, is really let's good see. At chess. chess. You should play. You should play him. That. One. And um, I'd like to is over here. I'd like to, sis, but I don't. And then if we go back to. You can make one. You can make one, just like you made my spirit guide. Is that a spirit guide image, maybe? No, no, it's not. No. 
Um, and so that blue that you could make one probably could go to this. And we already agreed. They be, break so easily. It would be red, then the triple. I could, but it's real. They yeah. break so easily. Those will be on this, and then we'll move to the chess set. What? Hmm. That would be this one, I think. The well. <laughs> or no, well, where's the one? There it is. Well. Maybe mom and dad could give you a set. I'll tell them to when I link home. And then this yellow. Ha! <laughs> right. And I suppose you'll tell them to make it out of the same rock as this chamber. What was this one? They break so easily. It breaks so easily. I could, but it's re I'd like to, sis, but I don't... What was that something about? Well, then they wouldn't break. Was that this one? That way, I'll never be able to break it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, that would be after. Uh... <laughs> right. Yeah. And I suppose you yeah, to make it out of the same rock as this chamber. That way, I'll never be able to break it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that would be correct. Hmm. How many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five images. How many memories are there? I'm wondering if there's like an even number it has to be spread across or something. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so maybe two memories per image? Daddy's really good at it. You should play him. So only those two should be on this image. The next two would be this I'd one. I'd like to, sis, but I... I don't know. Wow. You can that? make one, just like you made my spirit guide. Yeah. I wish I knew kind of what was expected exactly. Yeah. Without having to look it up. <laughs> um, right. Okay, so this one well, obviously is. Maybe mom and dad could give you a set as a present. Let's just get some things moved here. See, now I can't break out of it. Is probably like, oh, I made a mistake. I didn't want to click on it, but nope, too late. You're you're stuck. <laughs> you know. Yeah. That's so annoying. Um. Let's just drop these off for the moment here. Come over here. Problem is, both of these next two need to be on this image, I would think, but you can't. <laughs> You know, Trail. what? It's annoying. Never mind. Yeah. Let me just because th this obviously would take an enormous amount of time. Let me see if our instincts are correct, at least, first. Yeah. Object of the puzzle piece together a single logical conversation from the bits and pieces represented by the various objects. We know that. Make it a lot easier if you could take the time to write down the symbol in the full sentence or phrase you hear from each symbol. To hear a sense of phrase, move the cursor. Yeah, we know. Next, using your notes on paper, try to piece together a complete conversation using all the conversation bits from all the symbols. Also on paper, try to associate different sections of conversation with the five different objects represented by each of the locations around the circle. Chess set, carpet green, a picture, a book, and a crest. For example, 
Several of the conversation bits have to do with chess. They would all come under the chess icon and can be ordered into a reasonable part of the conversation. After determining which conversation bits go where and in what order, ugh, the most difficult part is to move the associated symbols, the ones that identify each of the conversation bits, to their proper location icon and get them in the proper order, reading from top to bottom. Ugh. Really? Mm-hmm. Anytime you move to one, This is like busy work. This is it not is. proper is. kind of puzzle figuring out. This is... This is... Mm. I'm not happy about this one. I don't know about you. No, these are the most annoying puzzles, where it's like, it's just annoying, you know? Yeah, and and the fact that they limit you as to, you pick it up and you have to drop it off to one of the adjacent pictures or objects, whether or not you want to severely limit you on that. It's kind of like playing those uh, 16 uh, slider puzzles, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Mm mm-hmm. Put this picture in order, but you can only slide the pieces around one by one. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I know you hate slider puzzles. Yes, yes, we talked about that back in the Zork days. Uh, return to Zork. Days. <laughs> back in the Zork days. Ah, good times. <laughs> good times. <laughs> At least those were more humorous. We could have a laugh about that. Uh, That's true. I mean, I love Zork games, so... Yeah, it, you're, yeah, they're fun. Maybe someday we might do the old text ones, even though they're not quite as humorous, I think. Right. Um... Yeah, there are so many hints on this one, but we pretty much have all the information we need. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think maybe we should just... Look at a solution? Yeah, go to the solution in that way, yeah. you know. Yeah, let's do it. Because I'm, I'm it. sorry, this but... Is the, yeah. This is not interesting puzzle solving. No, this is not like, ooh, this is... I don't even go into it. This, this is, like I said, is more biz work than anything else and frustrating because of the limitations on moving these pieces. If you could pick up the pieces of conversation and drop them anywhere you wanted and in any order, then I'd be all for it. I'd be mm-hmm. absolutely 100% all for it. But the limitations here of only going side to side, dropping off to an adjacent object, that's the frustrating bit. And I can't get behind that. Yeah. Because what if you've got everything Agreed. right except for, for maybe one piece of conversation? Well, then you got to mess up all of your other good set pieces in order to get the, that one piece fixed. Oh, uh, it's, it's, mm, no, I'm sorry. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me, uh, I guess I'm going to need to reload um, where we were. Um, starting from, you know, scratch. Because I guess it's not randomized. Thank goodness for that. Um, let me open up all these hints here because they, they, they do have on the Universal Hint System the, the full movement pattern. And holy hell, there's a lot of moves. Again, a reason why I didn't want, don't want to do it like this. Uh, if anyone watching this mm-hmm. disagrees with our decision on doing this, um, you're welcome to, of course. Maybe it'd be right here. I'll just load this auto save. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, feel free to voice your opinion, but know that, you know, it's not going to... No, I'm not trying to save the game. I'm trying to load. Load. It's not going to change our decisions here. 
save. Don't oh, don't save our current game. Just load. Okay, I was misreading the icons there. Thank you. You can make one. I'd like to, sis, but Daddy's really good. Okay, so um, starting on the Nara, Chris. I don't even know what the word Nara means. I, have, have we run into that word before? I don't think so. In this game. So, uh, I don't know, but whatever. They break so easily. Pick up the dialogue and move it to the chess set. Pick up the stack from the linking book. Move it around the circle of locations in this order. Okay. I could... Crest, then the book, then the picture, then we're going to deliver this one to the chest. You should play him. Move the stack on the book. To the Nara Crest, which is there's not a stack, there's just the one. <laughs> and then move it on over I to the could, chest set. But it's really hard to carve figurines that small. Move the symbol on the figurine to the chest set. <laughs> Daddy's really. Put everything in one place, huh? That's probably not a bad idea, actually, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Now, make the remainder of the moves in the following order, starting on the chess set. Okay, we're going to just break so now. Move the stack this way, so to the figurine. Then the chess set. We're going to go back and forth now to the Nara Crest. Chess set, Nara Crest. Chess set. Okay. Then from the figurine to the picture. I'll tell them to win. I'll let you know when we've completed a portion of the puzzle here, which is actually real soon. Then from the chess set you can make one. Just... to the figurine. Then the chess set and back to the figurine. And lastly, we're going to move this one back to the figurine. What is it, how's it going to be here if we do this? All right, this should complete this portion. Oh, it does. You can make one. Shiny! Like you made my spirit guide. I didn't realize it would you... I could, but it's really hard to carve figurines that small. They break so easily. Okay. That's kind of what I was hoping to, you know, get on the figurine uh, when we were thinking this through earlier. Right. <clears throat> mm hmm Yeah, what's on the Nara symbol? I'd like to, sis, but I don't have a mm. chest set. You should play him. Daddy's really good at chess. Okay, yeah, we got quite a bit Interesting. here. Interesting. So let's uh, <clears throat> take from here. Let's go to the chess set. Let's put this back on. What's going on? This isn't timed, is it? God, talk about the worst of all possible things. Or that to let us know we got on the right object. I don't know. I don't. That's strange. I... Weird. I yeah, I guess you're making it happy? Then from the chess set to Nara. And back to chess set. Because this is like the start of the whole conversation here. Daddy's really good at chess. Mm hmm. You should play him. I'd like to, sis, but... 
Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get all of these onto the chest set. So we have mm -hmm. to drop this one off first here. And we have to put it over here again, then we gotta pick it up again. And move it back over. Okay, that's, that solves that portion. Daddy's really good at chess. See, I would have expected that to be on the portrait. You should play him. I'd like to, sis, but I don't have a chess set. But, um, okay, maybe not. Fine. Okay, so from the picture, what else do we have here? Well, we only have four meaning. Maybe Mom and Dad could give you a set. Ha! <laughs> right. And it's... That way, I'll never be able to... I'll tell them to when I link home. Sure. Okay, so there's only these four remaining. Alright, let's drop this off. Onto the book. Dan. Put this on Nara. Go back to the book and back to the Z portrait. Then from the book to the portrait and back to the book. And finally, I think that way. <laughs> right. And I suppose you'll tell them to make it out of the same rock as this chamber. That way I'll never be able to break it. That's interesting. So that's what solves that symbol or object, rather. Interesting. Those two conversation okay. pieces. I never would have guessed that, to be honest with you. I, I wasn't sure wh I don't what think would I would go be there. on that object. Alright, well that's pretty simple. At this point, Link Home solves that one, and then this one solves this one. Just a single symbol. Daddy's really good at chess. You should play him. I'd like to, sis, but I don't have a chess set. You can make one, just like you made my spirit guide. I could, but it's really hard to carve figurines that small. They break so easily. Well, maybe Mom and Dad could give you a set as a present. I'll tell them to when I link home. Ha! <laughs> right. And I suppose you'll tell them to make it out of the same rock as this chamber. That way I'll never be able to break it. It's working. Okay. Yay, it's working. <laughs> Yay. We must move swiftly. The traveler knows what you're doing and will try to impede you. Go. Go where? Oh, really? Mm. I am so glad we didn't try to finish this last time. <laughs> yeah, we would just have just said, no, I. Father and mother will teach you the art. Leaving behind the perfect disguise for me to step into. When I turn the switch, the chair you're sitting in will activate. What? Never knowing it's really me who's doing the learning. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see where this is going. Of course, I'll kill them as soon as I know how to write ages. Lights will go on. See how round and smooth and empty it is? And everything that's you will be sucked out of your body. Then I'll put my new memories back in my body and no one will be able to stop me. Mm. 
See this globe, little sister? Hmm. Okay. That's a start. Yeah, that definitely sounds like it. All right. Well, let's cut to the chase. Yeah, I'm. I'm. No, we're. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is not happening uh, a second I, either. No. And more difficult than previously would require a bit more reasoning to complete. Yeah, no. We're not gonna do that. Bad, the last one was bad enough, and I hate to have to do this, but I have reasons. I think they're valid. No patience for this sort of bullshit. Please don't hold it against me. <laughs> okay. Um, of course, another piece has been moved. Yeah. Previous save. It's okay here. Let's save it just for the heck of it, I suppose. It's working. Um, does it have to put us there? Or is this another instance of that weird bug that happened with the... Um, like the monkeys that we had. To do. Yeah, it was a bug. Okay, see, I knew it. Stupid game. Okay, sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So let's start with the chair. And we're going to move to the globe. The chair. And then the book. Then from the globe. Here we go. Pick it up, you. Uh, life support, I guess, is what this thing is called. Come back to the globe and back, back to life support. And let's deliver this guy to the chair. Okay, let's take this whole stack. Move it to the globe, to the chair, then back to, ah, stop that. Back to the globe, to the life support, and then we'll finish up, ah, stop this, to the book, and to the chair, which is over here. All right, so let's Pete. Let's listen to these real quick. Father and mother will teach you the art, never knowing it's really me who's doing the learning. Of course, I'll kill them as soon as I know how to write ages. When I turn the switch, the chair. Sorry. When I turn the switch, the chair you're sitting in will activate. Lights will go on, and everything that's you will be sucked out of your body, leaving behind the perfect disguise for me to step into. Yep, okay. Now, where's the globe? Here's the globe. To the life support, back to the globe. These are just jumbled up. We got to get them unjumbled here. So my support, I can pick them up. Holy cow! The globe back to life support. Then from the globe again. Life support. Make globe. We're 
we're almost done. What is what are See these? this globe, little sister? See how round and smooth and empty it is? Then I'll put my new memories back in my body. Hmm. So that should go there. Completes that. And then this one just has put my new memories back in my body. Okay, that's it. See this globe, little sister? That's the beginning. See how round and smooth and empty it is? When I turn the switch, the chair you're sitting in will activate. Lights will go on. And everything that's you will be sucked out of your body. Leaving behind the perfect disguise for me to step in. Father and mother will teach you the art. Never knowing it's really me who's doing the learning. Of course, I'll kill them as soon as I know how to write ages. Then I'll put my new memories back in my body and no one will be able to stop. Yay, we did it! <laughs> Yay! Bye-bye, Sirius. She's free. You have done well, Traveler. The one you know as Yisha has rediscovered her waking mind. Even Excellent. now, she begins to return there. The interloper cannot follow her. The strands of dream close in on him, and without a guide to shield him, he will be completely crushed under their weight. He'll be a Shame. vegetable? Return now to your waking so. life until the next time you wish to travel in dream. That'll be never, but thank you. <laughs> I never want to come back here. <laughs> The worst puzzles in the game are in Dream. Yeah. Uh. Okay. I guess we're getting up. What did you do? Why are you so out of breath, Akinar? Worked. <laughs> we saved Yisha. What have you been doing? <laughs> Don't look so surprised. The life stone had to be inserted directly into the shrine. Oh! oh poison gas. gas. Okay. There you are. 
friend. Seems I'm always thanking you. Catherine has taken Isha to Tay. She's all right. She really is a strong little girl. But uh, she's going to need time. She loved Akinar and, and Cirrus very much. God, this is hard. It's as if a door inside me is closed despite everything I've done to keep it open. But in a way, maybe that's good. My sons may be gone, but my daughter is safe. And now Catherine and I can give her all the love and attention she'll need to move on with her life. Just as we must move on with ours. Endings are just another form of beginning, I guess. And the harder an end is to face, the more hope we bring with us to the next beginning. Okay. All right, we did it. That's that's that. Sir, certainly was an ending. Yep. Back to the Peter Gabriel music again. <laughs> I mean, I would say it was a bittersweet ending, but... This doesn't seem right. I don't know what the appropriate term is for that. No, it's like... anticlimactic but like it's yeah. hard to actually have tension in a puzzle game <laughs> I think they you did know? pretty well with Miss 3 in, in Savidro's plight you know yeah <laughs> music for the poor man we did finish it and I'm glad we did go back even though it was kind of a wasted time going back to Tomana to see that silly little video with uh, Atris on Rhyme <laughs> which was clearly Rhyme. supposed to have been seen much earlier in the game <laughs> but oh well Revisited the brothers, sons, whatever. Yeah, and um, closed that whole chapter too of the story. Yeah. I said, all right, we're no more about the brothers. We're done with them. The sons. <laughs> yeah. They tried to. They tried to pull that. Um, oh, you have to pick which one is uh, actually, actually the good son. I'm glad they didn't go with they're both awful again. But 
Yeah, but I mean, he already knew that they were both awful from the very first game. So, I mean, in, in, even right. at the end, Akinar admits to <laughs> having done bad things in his life, and so he deserves the fate right. that he chose. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, and, well, admittedly, a lot of the environments were, were good. Uh, there were... You even mm -hmm. admitted to loving the kind of architecture and such in Spire and the rock formations in yeah. Slovenia. Mm -hmm. um, but those were, yeah. and I agree, I they were yeah, I very loved, nice. Yeah, I loved that. Um, I'm glad that the I mean, artists so, have some great imagination there. Go ahead. Yeah, no, it was almost a good game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like... That's the best way. Highest compliment we can pay it. Yes. <laughs> it's almost a good day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah. I mean, there's a lot to like in it. Mm -hmm. But... Mm -hmm. um, but there's also a lot to not like. Like... <laughs> Like the puzzles were just not great puzzles. They, they weren't. weren't there were necessarily um, fun puzzles. Those, particularly the two slash three puzzles that were in Dream, because two of them were the same. That's why I said two slash three. Uh, yeah. Were felt right. more like busy work than anything else. They weren't yeah. actual. You know, oh, let's exactly. intellectually figure this out and then we're done. It's oh, let's. Uh, intellectually right. figure this out and then go through the rigmarole crap in order to make it work. You know, that, that just adds right. a layer and that so, didn't need to be there. Yeah, so like it's almost like that monkey puzzle was preparing us for <laughs> the dream puzzles. You think it this puzzle like, is bad. Mm. If you, yeah, if you think this puzzle is annoying, just wait. We've taken all the interesting parts out of this puzzle and made it way more boring for all of the puzzles in Dream. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, I wonder yeah. if anyone's done any videos written on any forms about how annoying the puzzle, are, especially the monkey puzzle, uh, in this game. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Like... You know, oh, missed one, the original one. The puzzles are really more about exploration, right? Like once you've explored everything, you mm -hmm. probably have all the answers you need. You just have to realize where they go, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have to figure out how to put them together. Yeah, there's not a whole and lot of Go ahead and finish. Oh, I was going to say, and I think that made them interesting and fun. Mm -hmm. Rather than just like the uh, handicapping the, annoying the way puzzles. that you solve them. Yeah. Like it just it feels like they, it, it's just adding handicap. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're like, how can we make this puzzle take as long as possible? <laughs> which no, I is ridiculous totally agree. but that was like that was like this whole game right like all of the <laughs> puzzles took way longer than they really needed to yeah there probably could have been some clearer directions maybe somehow I mean granted one of the hallmarks excuse me, of Mist is being given a puzzle and you don't even realize it's a puzzle necessarily because there's no like set instructions or anything you're supposed to figure it out but I, I agree with you i think that they've taken the idea of just a nice puzzle and stretched it out to make it much longer of a puzzle than it needs to be right it's like they were trying they were pushing the boundaries <laughs> pushing the limits as to well, how <laughs> how long can we drag this game on here and how much patience can we right. expect out of our 
players. I don't know. Right. But like I said, it's not I mean, a bad it's clearly... game. Go ahead. No. I was just <laughs> to say clearly it uh the answer for us was uh two puzzles before the end. Uh cuz they really yeah. like I got like, I was yeah, out. I was done with my patience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For those last two in Dream, I just had no patience left for if, them. If there wasn't a mechanical limitation on moving them around, then you'd be done with it. And be, right. I would have been happy with been, that. Totally happy yeah. with that. Right. <clears throat> that would have been a pretty good puzzle. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, we will be. Uh, th- that's quite a nauseum. I'll have it on my uh, um, YouTube channel probably in the next day or so. And yes, we will be shifting to the next game. Uh, let me just wrap up by saying, yeah, this is not a bad game, but it clearly is on the downhill of their uh, from their peak. Because um, like I said, the music and acting were decent at least. Um, puzzles and, and the story was good too, but the puzzles just nah, kind of really dragged it down. And the technical limitations too, but... Um, yes, that is correct, uh, Nauseam. We will actually be moving on to Uru, uh, next. Um, again, it has been a long time since I've played that, so we'll, I'll try it without any hints or walkthroughs, but I will keep them at the ready just in case we'll need them. Um, it's definitely a step up, I think, from this game, but... Still not, you know, you know, it still is not quite reaching the peaks of Ribbon and Exile. Um, Also, something else I would like to mention, that if you have the opportunity, it would behoove both of us, as a matter of fact, or anyone watching these, to read... Um, the Book of Atris, at the very least, before we get into Uru. It's not certainly necessary by any means. All right. But it does give you a nice little background for what we're going to be getting into in Uru. Um, yeah. <laughs> they have a programming puzzle book, exactly. Um... I will probably try that myself. Oh my god! It's a pretty big book. What's that, uh, Susan? <laughs> I was just looking at the um, book of Atrus on Amazon. Oh no! Don't buy a physical <laughs> copy. I've got physical <laughs> copies here. If you're coming over to me, I'll, get, I'll, I'll lend you mine because well, I've got a. Yeah. Oh, well, I was thinking <laughs> it would be nice to have. Because you know, I, I've enjoyed this book. This will be, I think, my third time reading it. And, but oh, really? I'm not willing to pay $85 for a paperback. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can, like Nauseam said, you can get the Mist Reader, which oh combines all three books into one. But even then, it's probably so expensive. Um, yeah, if you, if you can just get the ebook version, so just do that. Or like I said, if you're coming over tonight, no, I don't, I don't, I don't ebook. <clears throat> okay, I don't fair e-book. enough. I'll let you my copy and I'll read um, the ebook version. But anyway. Um, but yeah, they're good books, I think. Um, I've got hardbound copies, hardback copies, excuse me, of uh, all three of them since first printing. Um, try to keep them in really good condition. But um, I'll be happy to lend you that. Uh, I think that will do us for today. Any final thoughts, comments, complaints, rants that you'd like to throw out there Susan no I think I said everything I needed to about this game yeah me too too. it's probably not one I'd go back and play again but I'm glad I played it let's put it that way we did it it's over (laughs) it's over yay (laughs) no multiple endings here no 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 (laughs) at least I hope not I don't want to know if there is (laughs) very well I will not tell you then Okay, well, then I'll go ahead and call it here. If you've been watching live like Nauseam here, thank you so very much for doing so. Please 
feel free to follow me if you are so inclined here at twitch.tv slash sturmd. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram where I'm simply known as Sturm. And on Twitter, that's the best place to follow me, where I'm at sturmd because that's where I do all my announcements such as cancellations, postponements, etc., as well as just general shit chat. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm always jumbling up what things I need to say. On YouTube, please uh, smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, all the fancy stuff. And please comment down below because I definitely will read and respond to them so long as it's not spam. You know, the usual. I stream every Wednesday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern, which is 6 p.m. Pacific, or 0100 UTC. And every Saturday afternoon, just like right now, at 2 p.m. Eastern, roughly, which is 11 a.m. Pacific, or 1800 UTC. Susan, would you like to plug the huge? Yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at Muskins or on Instagram at S3 Equestrian, Epic Mini Painting, or NASA's Yepid. And you can find links to all of those places and more in the description below on YouTube. Um, once again, thank you all so very much for watching, especially you, Nausea. You have a good one as well. Everybody, please take care and stay safe. <laughs>